Hello my friends, we are back. Today is Friday. Happy Friday to me. Maybe not happy Friday to you because I don't think it's going to be Friday when you see this, but that's okay. Happy whatever day it is to you. I hope you have a lovely day. Um, last time we were here, I had successfully made a Nico top. Very, very exciting. Um, actually, I don't know if I showed you the finished Nico top, but it was successful. So I will try them all on at the end and we will see what we think of them. But it was successful. It did go well. I'm going to move my arm in a little because it's cramping. There we go. Um, I'm now going to make two more, hopefully. Hopefully they go well. And they're going to be a little bit more adventurous. So the other one was like a plain cream color really nice very happy with it like good basic to add to my wardrobe and this next one i'm going to show you i'm really excited about because i think it's going to be really cool and i've got it all mapped out and i'm going to show you how i do it so this is it it's from source unknown i really love the contrast white and black this is going to be or yes cream and black beige and black it's going to be less contrasty in the one that I do so rather than like light and dark it's going to be like two I'll show you I'll, let me just show you what colors I'm going to use so this is the first one this is the first one it's like a forest green I think it's actually called pine and then the next one is this sort of sage green the colors are not like really picking up that well but this is going to be the back no this is going to be the front this is going to be the back and i'm pretty excited about it they're both like a rib knit yeah you can kind of see that there and i'm going to get started and show you how i do that the next one that i have in mind is a print turtleneck Ooh, let me move you up there we go the next one I have in mind is a print. I think this print's really cool. I really like it for, I like the idea of like layering with this to add like a little bit more visual interest. So that's what this one is gonna be. But first I'm gonna do this bad boy because it's a little bit more nuanced. So I'll show you how I do that now. Um, it's not complicated. It's just like a little bit more thinking than would normally be required. So I'm gonna show you what I have. So, please ignore my messy background because we're moving. Um, this is the front of the Nico, and so I'm placing it on the side here. This is the fold. I'm gonna place it here. This is gonna be my front piece. The back piece, we're gonna save for this fabric. But then I've got my arm piece here, and I've folded it in half and I've also made sure that I have the front notches so that they'll match up with this so this I know it because I believe with the Nico they're slightly different yeah so the curve in the arm is just a little bit different so I'm just making sure that this and this will match up it looks like they will so that's cool and yeah for this one I'm not I'm gonna actually only cut i'm just thinking now i'm gonna cut two but i'm not gonna cut them cut it on the fold so i'm just gonna place it like exactly right here and then i can't find the arm piece but i'm gonna cut you're supposed to do it on the fold but instead of doing it on the fold i'm just going to cut half of it um and put it like once i cut this out i'll make sure i don't have it double layered and then I'll just cut um, one piece. I'll show you what that all looks like. So I'm gonna do this one now, and then I will loop back. I also wanna mention that because I'm joining the two colors of the sleeve, you're wanting to leave a little bit of seam allowance here because they're gonna be joined to make the front and the back. So this will be the front part of the sleeve, and then the other color will be the back part of the sleeve. So just wanted to make a quick note of that. You don't have to do this, that for the top or the front part because it already has a seam allowance included and you're not doing anything extra. And so this is what I meant when I was talking about only cutting half of the neckband. So rather than cutting it on the fold and having it lined up kind of like, you know, on the fold, 
like that. That's what it would normally be. I'm only cutting half because I want it to be two colors. So I'm putting it just on one piece like this. I'm gonna cut out one half and then I'm gonna do the same on my other color. But because again, I'm joining them, I'm gonna leave about three eighths of a seam allowance. So I'm gonna draw that and then cut it out. Now doing the same thing on the lighter green. So this is the back lining it up on the fold and then i'm gonna take the back half of the sleeve where are you the back half of the sleeve there remembering that those two notches are the back part and then that matches with that so not cutting this on the fold but just cutting it like this so that i get a nice skinny piece like this yeah, so that's what I'm going to do now, and we're going to cut these out. Okay, one other thing I just wanted to point out is that I changed the uh, shoulder here a little bit just to make it come in a bit more because um, on the last Nico, it was sitting quite like this was coming kind of off of my shoulder and down my arm. So I just wanted it to come up a little bit, and then I replicated that on the other fabric. So... Just wanted to make a note of that. Now I'm going to sew my two pieces. I'm gonna sew my arms together and then I'm gonna sew that little neck piece. I'm gonna sew the neck bands together and then once the arms and the neck bands are together and I have, I'm gonna turn you around. So once I have the arms, the full arms and then the full neck band, I'm going to do like the regular sewing pattern and, and sew it all together. So I'm gonna go to my machine and do that now. All right, so this is how it looks so far. I think it looks so friggin' cool. Um, I'll do a little close up so you can see. I love it. Uh, and then I just pressed the seam to either side. You don't have to finish knits like this, so I'm not going to, even though it would be neater if I did. I'm just gonna keep it really simple, but Super happy. I've got this one. Whoa, oh my goodness. And this. So these are going to be the sleeves. It'll lay kind of like, like this, hopefully. Yeah. Something like that. That's cool. Into it. And then this is the collar. And it will... Once it's folded, it'll basically sit like this. So everything is going according to plan. Um, honestly, it's actually going better than my than I planned. So that's awesome. Now I'm gonna just continue to follow the pattern as calls, and yeah, we'll we'll meet back up in a few minutes. Last time I made this, I used, do I have it anywhere close by? I don't see it. Uh, is that it? No, not sure where it is. But last time I did the uh, shoulders, the shoulder seams, I used a stretch. I want to find it and show you the difference. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's try again. So last time that I sewed this sweater, I used uh, this stretchy elastic for the shoulder seams. And it was fine. Like, I wouldn't say it was ideal. Um, I thought, you know, I'm like, what, can, what could the difference possibly be? There is a difference. Um, I see that now because where did it go? I bought this. Oh, I hope you can see it. Can you see it? I bought this clear elastic and 
it's much thinner like it's much thinner um and i was noticing that the seam was a bit bulky on my last nico so i think this will probably do the trick and i'm very happy with it i'll uh, link it in the in my bio or link it in the description box it was cheap and i got like five meters of it because that was the, sh the smallest amount that you could get but yeah this is this is good this is what Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna stop pulling this. I'm gonna now do the shoulder seams. So far, so good. Now I just have to attach the arms like this and we're almost done. I'm really excited. It's looking really good. Look how satisfying this seam is. It's so satisfying. Oh, oh look at that. I love it. Okay, let's go. This is the turtleneck on. I'm really happy with the colors. I love the shape of it. It fits so nicely. Um, I love how the pattern kind of goes like a bit of an hourglass. So it really does like hug your body. I probably could have made it a little bit tighter, but honestly, I'm comfy with it like this. I like how the arms aren't too tight. That's the biggest thing. Um, I'm really happy with the shoulder adjustment I made. Um, so this is exactly like where my shoulder bone is. So that's going to be a modification. I might just even modify it in the pattern because I know that this is kind of where I like it to sit. But yeah, pretty, pretty happy with it overall. Really like fun to style. I feel like it kind of makes everything look like, I don't know, I just feel like a chic lady when I wear it. So yeah. These are the other two that I made. This this cream one. And this one I made with that elastic I mentioned, the thicker uh, knitted elastic. And then this one I made with the clear elastic. Let me see if I can show it to you in here. Oh, it's like really subtle. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's in there. So this is definitely like, if you look at the seam like this, you can see that it's a lot, actually I don't really know if you can see that, but it's a lot flatter. And then this seam is quite bulky. Let me see if I can get it again. So yeah, like it looks good and I love the turtleneck and I've already worn it twice. Um, I really like the color, the fit is so nice. The shoulders are a bit wider, so they actually, the shoulders come, you can really see it. Um, the shoulders come off of my shoulder here. Whereas this one I have altered so that it comes and sits right on my shoulder bone. So that's where I like it. But other than though, like for a first try, everything went really well. I'm really, really happy with this and it's gonna be a very solid staple. And then this one I made in Jersey and the, the other two, these, this one and this one are both rib knits. This one's jersey. It was definitely a bit trickier to work with um, and it didn't have as much stretch. So to be honest, I haven't even tried it on. I'm not sure if it's going to fit, but I really liked the pattern and I thought it would be like a fun layering piece. Um, kind of sticking within like obviously that same color palette that I'm really a big fan of. And um, yeah, I I would say like this is... We'll see how it goes when I try it on. Honestly, I guess that I haven't tried it on yet, but I like it and I think it looks really cool. And if it does fit, it might be quite tight, but it'll be a really solid piece to have as a base layer. Overall, I'm really happy with the Nico pattern. Really easy to follow. Uh, her sew along on her blog 
is very good. Um, it's basically like the instructions, but you know, you can see with photos and it makes it a little bit more, I find it a little bit more clear and I just prefer actually to have my computer set up and be referring to that and scrolling rather than like flipping through the pages. But that's just personally how I prefer to read patterns. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Is this something that you would try to make this double-sided? What colors would you do? I'd love to hear about it. And if you want to see more from me, I'm always on Instagram and TikTok, and I would love to meet you there as well. Hope you have a lovely day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.